a doctor away. And if the doctor is good looking, keep the apple away. <laughs> this is what I heard. I didn't hear what he actually said. <laughs> Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters, Toastmaster Arun. Very good evening. Good evening. Toastmaster Ajay today was supposed to deliver a speech, a non-technical speech, to non-technical people. Unfortunately, there are a lot of technical people in this room. And the only non-technical person I believe in this room was me. So a lot of things that you said went over my head. I wish it was really non-technical. But let me evaluate you based on what you exactly did. In terms of your topic selection, I thought it was a wonderful topic, the right topic to be discussing for this speech. Was it complex? No. It was a very easy subject to understand because you were talking about fruit ripening. It is a very, very easy subject for all of us to understand because each of us love eating fruits. Some of us. Was your opening of the speech Attention grabbing? Yes, of course. You started off with a nice quote. Organization, very well organized. Very logical, went into the subject very well, spoke about everything that needed to be spoken about. Was your support material good? Excellent. Everything that you put across the board was very pleasing, eye-catching, people could understand it, and so did the visual aids that you presented. So overall, your language was also very good, easy to understand. So in terms of what you did was wonderful. There's no, no questions on that. What I want to understand now is you said 40 years it took you to understand something. Were you actually implying that you're only 40 years old? So was it a message that you tried to give us trying to tell me that okay, you're an old man coming here to evaluate me? Now that's a question that I'll get an answer once I finish off from here. So that's a very, very serious question that I have in my mind still. He kept repeating 40 years. I mean, he did it three times. Why did he finish the speech? So I need to cross check. Sorry, I was just deviating from the subject. What you could have done differently, Arun, was I think first thing, when you are answering a question, you do not. Oh, I, I can't find the right word, but you said that one of your questioner was sleeping. This is something is a cardinal sin. Probably what I said was not good enough for you to understand. That would have been a subtle way of saying things in this. And then you ended the speech very, very abruptly. And your question also was you were in a hurry. Were you trying to actually take that award and go? Because you should have actually, if you if you have a question, answer the question and then say, well, that's it. And I'm leaving. You could have done that differently. To summarize, I would say, you did talk about the ripening process, but your topic was the taste, and that was missing. You never told us about the taste. You told us about the smell, but the taste was missing. I wish you could have given us, you know, a, a ripe mango to taste, or a good apple to taste, or a banana that you love for us to taste. Overall, I would say a good speech, uh, a good topic to use for this topic, for this speech. And um, all the best to you for your future speeches. Uh, future speeches. Over to you.